Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. So the first card is the beetle, so good fortune. So things are changing after a lot of hard work. Uh, you know, these beetles, they work pretty hard. Um, and, uh, you know, good fortune is about to come your way there. You've got the fan over here, which says romance, celebration or party. So some kind of event that you might be attending, um, some kind of celebration that might be coming in for you there. You've got the rat card over there. So work, someone is working against you or working against you behind your back. So just watch out who you trust. People are not what they appear to be. They might appear to be your friend, but really they are there to let you down. So be careful. You've got the final card over here, a period of frustration, lessons to be learned. So you are going through some difficulties at the moment, uh, and you have been going through that, um, climbing towards success. So even though you're going through them, you know, you slowly does it, you will be able to overcome this. You are moving towards success. So these obstacles are there to teach you lessons, uh, and overcome these obstacles will mean that you will be better at what you do in the end. You've got the wheel over there, so this is ind indecisiveness, allowing you, allowing life to ramble uh, aimlessly. So uh, there is a need for you to get some direction as well. So if you are not really quite sure where you're going, you need to actually revise your goals, reassess things. It's a good time to do it. It's just past the halfway mark in the year. Reassess what you want out of this year. If you haven't achieved it yet, there's still time to do that and focus on that. And uh, the last card is the peacock. Beware of great pride. So, uh, you know, uh, I suppose it's don't go around blowing your own trumpet. Uh, you know, just be humble and, you know, these things will come uh, your way. Don't boast. This is what this peacock card is saying, really. Uh, but I don't think Taurus is much of a boaster. But anyway, this is the card that's fallen. So, you know, just take things uh, and take it in your stride, whatever comes your way. Uh, this wheel is also showing that the wheel of fortune coming in for you there. So things are about to change as well. So you do need to uh, take control of that wheel as well. So... Those are the energies for that week. <coughs> so I'm just going to draw some cards from the Deviant Moon Tarot. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, you've got the uh, Six of Pentacles over there. And you've got um, you've got the Four of Coins over there and the King of Cups. So the Six of Pentacles is about trying to decide what you want to do. Maybe you've got some ideas about, you know, business or work or, you know, this is trying to select what you want to invest your time in, um, you know, and uh, where you want to get your money from. So if you're having financial problems, maybe you're looking at different or various options uh, to pursue in order for you to get finances over there. This is like shaking the tree. So you might, you know, be going through hard times. It might be difficult for you to even find a job. And this is about shaking the tree, trying to, to make an opportunity come your way. You're certainly hanging on to finances quite a bit there. Uh, you've got that King of Cups. You could be dealing with the Scorpio uh, Pisces or Cancerian energy over there. Maybe an offer has come in as well over there. Maybe you're looking to that offer, um, you know, and uh, you can see this King of Cups is making the offer. This person's holding their coins and then they're putting it up in the tree there. So you might be uh, receive an offer that comes in for you there about investing your times or your skills or your efforts into something. Uh, and, um, you know, that's going to grow maybe. Um, you could also be dealing with a, a um, like I said, a water sign energy over there, and they might be making an offer for you. And because you're going through some difficult, um, you know, difficult financial period, this might be something that you you need to actually consider taking as well. So uh, it seems like there's some kind of offer coming in over there, but there is a need for you to actually watch your finances. Uh, this person is almost trying to get blood out of a tree and clinging on to finances quite tightly over there. So this is showing that, you know, you are going through a very, very difficult financial period there. But there could also be a lot of job options that you could pursue in order for you to make that extra uh, coin. You've got the High Priestess over there and you've got the Two of Cups over there. It looks like there is an offer coming in over here uh, for you. Uh, and you need to use uh, your instincts 
um, to actually, or your intuition to actually choose. So there's some kind of offer coming in there for you. The High Priestess is showing that you're spending a lot of time by yourself. You're very, very defensive, feeling very lonely as well over there with that High Priestess, trying to think of strategies in which you can actually even uh, attain this goal or this, you know, finances or even a relationship if that's what you're looking for. It looks like there is an offer. So this could be an offer for a new job. This could be an offer for further study. Uh, this could be an offer that's on the relationship front that could be coming in over there. But it takes you out of this loneliness uh, because, you know, this comes in quite unexpectedly. You've got the temperance card over here. So you've been using a lot of skills and a lot of your, whatever you learned, your talents to do things here. And this is how you've been managing to make your money. Um, you know, it's been bringing some money and whatever skills, whatever um, gifts that you have, you've been using that. You're very much on your own. You're looking after yourself, uh, but you're feeling, I think, very, very lonely because with the, um, you know, the nine of um, pentacles, it's about um, not having somebody to share things with, being on your own. There seems to have been a loss because you can see this person's lost their limb. So there, whatever's happened, uh, whoever you've cut out of your life, you know, it felt like you've lost a limb, somebody very, very important to you. And uh, that has had its uh, a, a big uh, repercussion on you because even with that high priestess there, it's about, you know, you be, being very lonely, being very, very lonely over there, uh, you know, sitting by yourself and doing a lot of thinking, maybe a lot of introspection there. Now, you want the Wheel of Fortune to come in and you're trying to make an effort to change your fate because you can see this woman's trying to spin this wheel over here. So this is what you are uh, putting uh, your effort into. You've come through a heartbreak. You're trying to manifest things there with that hand uh, and you're hoping that things will change. There's still somebody that was very manipulative that's still around you and you're still thinking about them, but you have some kind of choice with these two fish uh, that you have to make for the future. And you can see there's that choice coming in over there. You're in two minds about something. So there could be a legal decision you have to face, but it seems like that, you know, there's a, a, a choice that you have to make. There's something that you're debating about, whether you should do it or whether you shouldn't do it. And you need to be very unemotional when you make this particular decision. It's going to have some kind of long-term effect. So think about it very caref carefully. Look at the facts uh, first. So don't make an emotional decision there. Now, um, what's going on with you? You've got that four of rods over there. So this could be, you know, if you had some problems uh, on the home front or with somebody, there could be a reconciliation coming back here and more stability. Uh, so if, uh, you know, if you've been a bit um, unstable or insecure, it looks like security might be coming in for you there. And there could well be an apology coming in over there with that four of rods. Now you've got the sun card over here. So things are about to, uh, you know, um, improve. Uh, whatever difficulties you're going through is about to resolve quite quickly because you've got that sun card over here. Now with this sun card, you can see there might be a reconciliation. There might be an apology that comes in for you, maybe unexpectedly as well. You can see these two people getting together there and here as well, two people getting together here and, you know, you can see them holding hands there. And these people too coming together. So maybe you've been estranged from somebody. There has been a separation or a barrier between you and this particular person. It looks like there might be a reconciliation or some kind of communication coming in certainly for you there. You've got the Queen of Cups. You're still very upset, very miserable uh, about what had happened. And you are crying quite a bit with that Queen of Cups. And again, very lonely energy there going through that card. Now going into the future, it looks like um, you know, you've got that Five of Swords, the Devil and the Moon. It looks like you've left that situation behind. So maybe when this person or if this person decides that they want to make an apology, maybe you decide you've had enough and you don't want to take it anymore and you are moving on from it. So maybe you're cutting them out. It seems like you're not going to accept that communication. You've got cross swords over here. So you are cutting communication out with this person, taking your things and moving on. This person is trying to manipulate you. So be careful about this apology or whatever that comes in for you. It might not be, uh, you know... Um, it might be still toxic. This person doesn't seem to have changed. They still seem to want to control you. So be careful of this. Uh, it is best to actually co uh, cut it. You know, uh, with the five of uh, swords, you have gone through a period of humiliation and conflict and, uh, you know, where people put you down and have manipulated you. And it seems like this is still, that energy is still going through there. They have caused a lot of depression, confusion. Don't let whatever this thing is... Um, come in and upset you or come in and confuse you. Uh, you know, they might be trying, you can see all these are like puppets on a string over there. So they're still trying to 
push you around. They're still trying to manipulate you. And their intention is not good. So just be aware, they're still trying to control you. Uh, maybe they're using emotional blackmail to actually even do that. So be careful. This is uh, the devil, and you've got puppets on a string over there. Uh, it is time for you to sever ties and move on. Uh, you know, whatever they said was really nasty. It seems that was said behind your back. So just be careful. You can see this tongue is out there. So, you know, the words were really nasty and manipulati manipulative and and awful. And maybe this is the decision you have to make. Maybe this is the reason why you're in two minds about it. Part of you wants this apology. Part of you wants this reconciliation. But you know what you've been through and you know the lessons that you've learned. So uh, don't forget that because if they come back in again, it looks like you'll just be manipulated and uh, it'll go all back to square one again. And all those lessons, all the hardship that you went through, all the loss that you went through, maybe you feel like, you know, you invested so much in it. Maybe you want uh, that apology. You know, you want to go back to that situation, but it doesn't look like it's going to be serving you to go back into a situation like that again. It's just not going to, it may not work out at all. So it's best to leave the past behind, cut it. And instead of turning and looking back, move forward. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the Animal Tarot for the main uh, Oracle read. Yeah, you've got the Ace of Winter over here. So implementation of your brilliant idea uh, gets off to a rocky start, but keep um, going. The challenges will help you refine your plan and reshape your goals into something even better. So this Ace of Winter, it's about cutting things out. So you have to make a, a, a fresh start. You have to cut things out. So don't be indecisive about that. You need to be very sure about what you want. You've been through a lot. There could be a legal decision that comes in for you here uh, with the Ace of Winter, but it seems like it's about you taking control and severing ties completely from that situation. You got the Seven of uh, Summer. So there's something about the situation that is confusing you. It's time to stop procrastinating and make a decision so that you can move forward um, with a priority. If you need to do something, uh, if you need to do more research, then do so, but don't overthink the situation and listen to your heart. So, you know, something about this decision is confusing you. Maybe, like I said, there's a lot of emotional ties. There was a lot of emotional um, you know, you put a lot of emotional investment in the situation. And if a person comes back with an apology, it, it might, you know, you might want to go back. But this is not the way to go. Uh, it seems like the, the cards are counseling that if even if you go back to this person, the, manip the manipulation and control will still be there and you wouldn't have changed. You wouldn't have moved on. And the Ten of Winter is showing that you do need to actually move on. You've got that Ten of uh, Swords there, the end of a career path project or relationship Um and it brings feelings of uh, mixed joy and sadness, relief and disappointment. Put aside your fears about these changes and trust that a brighter future awaits. So really, uh, you know, the Ace of Swords is saying, or the Ace of Winter is saying, you need to cut things, you need to say, I have to cut my losses and move on. Whatever's happened, I can't change the past and it won't, uh, going back, will not resurrect the past and it will not bring back what I've lost. So you need to uh, leave it behind and move forward. So this is about making that decision. Don't allow these people or this person or the situation to come back in and manipulate you because you will just be, uh, you know, they'll just treat you as though you were a puppet that they can maneuver all over again. And they have ill intent. It's not good. Even though, even if they say something else, it might not be... Uh, in your best interests there. So it seems like somebody does want to come in, but you have that choice to make. Look at it uh, with great clarity, you know, in black and white, really. Um, make sure that you're looking at it uh, from a very objective point of view. Don't be emotionally swayed by what goes on. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and leave me some comments if it has. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.